<laughs> Divine one. Yes. 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 Divine one. Thanks. Divine one. Very nice. Hmm. A word, please. Can I just say? Hey there. You're the Divine Dragon, right? Got a second to talk? Who might you be? Me? I'm a blacksmith. You can call me Kelne. And I am Piné, a clothier. Pleased to meet you. I'll cut right to it. Our friend Durton wrote us and said he opened a shop at your base. And, well, we'd like to go there too. We'll be a real help. I can strengthen your weapons. My clothes and accessories won't win you any battles, but they will catch eyes and turn heads. If Durton vouches for you, that's good enough for me. Please, come along to the Somniel. Really? That's great! You'll be glad to have us around, I promise. Indeed. Thank you, Divine One. <laughs> okay, I think I lost him. <laughs> really? You sure about that, darling? <laughs> You're shaking like a leaf. I take it you failed to obtain the ring. Uh, uh, apologies, ma'am. Those guys were tougher than they looked. But I... I can tell you things. Stuff that'll help you track it down. Like the fact that Princess Saline ran off with it. The Divine Dragon has it now. Pretty good info, right? Hmm. Uh, what do you say? How about we call it even this time around? <laughs> I won't let you down again. Oh. How naive you are. After you fail me once, there is no second chance. <laughs> no! Please don't kill me! Please don't kill me! <laughs> I am sorry, my lady. Apologies for the mess. And our failure to acquire the ring. <laughs> I was expecting to get at least one. At least now we know that Lumera is dead. Yes, but there's another divine dragon to take her place. I can't believe that Beast had a child. It does explain why she was so willing to sacrifice her life. What should we do? The battle at Lethos Castle took its toll. We're in no shape for another confrontation. We'd best lie low for a spell. Leave them be, for now. Understood.
<laughs> it is good that we can talk after I spent so long silently watching over you. I know what you mean. I'm really glad to have you at my side, supporting me in person. Thank you. Now, about the boutique. Welcome, welcome. Here's how the smithy works. I'll be here. Hmm. Well then. So. My chance to shine! Etie here, busting in once again. It's okay. I'll win the next one. I'm a lot stronger than I look. Let's have a good match. It's okay. I'll win the next one.
Hello? The weather's great today. Morning. Come on, open up those eyes. You're not... not distracting me. Oops! Sorry, sorry. See, I'm here in my capacity as a president of the Divine Dragon Fan Club. I have a... fan club? Yep. Our mission is to support you. That's why I'm here giving you extra motivation. Huh. Thanks for cheering me on. But... could you maybe not do it so... close? You bet. I can stand back a little. Three, two, one! Who's our favorite dragon? You! You! Y O U! <sighs> that didn't help. Divine One, what are you doing? Oh, hello, Clan. I was just tidying up a bit. Tomorrow's a busy day, so I thought I'd get it out of the way now. Let me take care of that. You should get some rest. That's all right. I can handle it. No, no, that won't do. I'm gonna have to insist. But... Please. You know, I waited a long time for you to wake up, and not just me. The stewards before me spent their whole lives waiting. Now, after a thousand years, I get to serve you. It's so, please, let me do it. Honest, and not just me. Now, after a thousand years, I get to serve you. It's like a miracle. <laughs> Very well. You've convinced me. I'll leave it to you. Thank you, Divine One. <laughs> I should be thanking you for taking such great care of me. I'm very lucky to have you as a steward. You mean it? Oh, man, I'm so happy I can faint! <laughs> Please don't. Now that I'm free from tidying up, I'm going to get some rest.
that's true. Welcome. Be well.
These pills ought to clear up the problem. Let me know if the pain persists, okay? And you're looking chipper today. I told you that cold would be gone before you know it. Father, isn't it time you took a break? Look, I made you some tea. Thank you, Jean. You didn't burn yourself or anything preparing it, I hope. You worry too much. I'm old enough to manage a simple pot of tea, I assure you. <laughs> it makes me happy to see you growing up so fine. Huh? What's going on out there? Doctor, you have to help us. Monsters are on the attack and people are getting hurt. <laughs> What the devil are those beasts? This will get ugly. Jean, go and hide. I'll take care of bringing people to the clinic. This way, everyone! If you're unhurt, then assist someone who is injured. We must pull together! I know Father told me to hide, but how can I? I have to do my part, too. Shelter at the clinic. Keep your wits about you, everyone. I'll patch you up once the crisis has passed. We can't stand idle with the corrupted on the loose. Let's save those villagers. Are you all right? Get to safety and leave the corrupted to us. You don't have to tell me twice. But there's still a few left who didn't make it out in time. We'll do everything in our power to save as many of them as we can. They'll love you for it if you do. You're their last hope at this point. So many wounded, we couldn't get to the clinic. Is it up to me to treat them all? Father, I'm here to help. If we split up, we can treat everyone. John, I thought I told you to run and hide. I can't stay hidden away when there are so many who need my help. After all, Father, am I not your son? You taught me that a doctor does whatever is needed. My lessons have sunk in, I see. Very well, then. Come and give me a hand. I'll do my best. Don't know how much you shall get out of this, but every little bit helps, right? I am ready to serve. Whatever you ask. Yeah. What's our move? For peace.
Like I broke them. Our foes are strong. Lend me your strength! Afford to lose.
Emblem, engage! Raise your sword! Don't worry, I'm fine. Here goes. It's not safe here. You should be running. I can't. I'm the local doctor's son. I won't leave until I've helped the injured. Huh. You've got a lot of heart for a kid your age. All right? Let's join forces and save those villagers. I really appreciate the help. My name's John. Now come on. There's work to do. It's starting to wear on me. <sighs> that feels way better. proper end. For the Divine Dragon. Yeah, thanks for that. you for checking in on me. Do you think you could use this? There's not much I can do with it, at any rate. Better it should go to a soldier like yourself.
Let me at him. All the monsters are gone. We're saved! And it's thanks to the lot of you. I'm glad no one got hurt. I was a little worried there. You can't know what this means to us. We decided to give you this to show our thanks. Come now, Jean. Give the nice people a proper thank you. Oh, right. Thank you for saving our village. We saved it together. You did well today, Jean. Oh, I introduced myself to you, but I never asked your name, did I? Well, there was a lot going on. I'm the Divine Dragon. The Divine Dragon? From the land of Lethos? Oh, please forgive my rudeness. Don't mention it. Like I said, there was a lot going on at the time. What brings such a splendid personage to our humble village? I've been on a journey to defeat the Fell Dragon and bring peace to the world. The whole world? Wow. If it's all right with you, Divine One, can I come along and help? <gasps> Jean! What's got an end to you? My dream has always been to become a doctor so I can save people. And that hasn't changed. But with monsters running rampant, I might die before I can do that. Look what just happened. At the Divine Dragon's side, I think I can learn to fight and to heal people at the same time. Well, that's all very well for you. But what about the Divine Dragon? You'd just be a burden. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Not if what he did during that battle is anything to go by. If Jean wants to come, I don't mind. Though, I understand why you'd be worried. Well, if he has your permission, then... I can only ask that you take good care of my boy. What? You're actually allowing him to go? Father, I told you, you don't need to worry about me. It's not like I'm never coming home. In fact, when I do return, I'll be a first-rate doctor. You'll see. How quickly they grow up. Of course, Sean. Be a good boy, a hard worker, and an attentive student. And come home safe. I will. Thank you, both of you. I can't wait to start working alongside the Divine Dragon. The feeling is mutual, Sean. I have a hunch that I'll be leaning on you a lot in the days to come.
Thank you. May I ask? Hmm. That's true. Yes. I visited the Divine Dragon lots of times over the years. <laughs> We're practically family. A persistent presence can form bonds deeper even than blood. They are to be cherished. For all I had hoped to discuss with you, now that you are before me, I am lost for words. I know what you mean. But we'll have plenty of time to get to know each other. Thank you. 
Almost there. Just a little farther north and we'll be at the shrine. The landscape's gotten rockier. We're near Brodia. It's all mountains up there. I'm seeing fewer villages as well. Makes this a good place to hide an emblem ring, I suppose. Yeah. The closer you are to the Brodian border, the colder and quieter it gets. Look. Not a soul in sight. You're right. There's no one around. Except her. Oh! Take a little look around. Wait for it. I wonder what she's doing here. <laughs> she's crying. Oh, well, doesn't that break the heart? I'd better help. I am her prince, after all. I won't stand by when my people are suffering. Alfred, wait! <laughs> oh, what a scrape I'm in. Hey there. Huh? What's the matter? Something I can help with? <gasps> Z Z I knew we'd startle you. Sorry for popping up out of nowhere and... Zappy! You came just in time. I'm saved. Uh... I lost something earlier and there was nobody around to help, so I got real stressed out. Oh, right. I skipped over the niceties. You can call me Yunaka. Hiya, Papaya. Hiya, Papaya? Huh. I've never heard that one before. Anyway, what did you lose, Yunaka? It's a little round ring. Kind of shiny with a hole in the middle. Oh, and it talks for some reason. Come again? Yeah, I figured you wouldn't believe me. I believe you. It might be an emblem ring. Please, go on. What did it say? Hmm. Well, if I remember right, it asked me to take it to the Divine Dragon. To me? Is that... Did you... Uh, are you saying you're the Divine Dragon? Yes, I am. I'm sorry I didn't mention it sooner. I'm the Divine Dragon. And now that we're doing introductions, I'm Alfred, the Prince of Firinae. Holy broccoli! Why didn't you lead with that? I think I just had a heart attack. Nope, false alarm. Phew. I'm so sorry. I never meant to impact your health. Yunaka, how did you find the ring? I was walking along the border, minding my own business, when I heard a woman's voice. Help me. I'm right here. I'm by your foot. Huh. You're quite the performer. Anyway, I picked up the ring and she said, Take me to the Divine Dragon. But at that point, I had no idea where the Divine Dragon was, so I told her I couldn't help. She knew the way, though. Told me to start heading for the capital of Firinae. Oh, that's good advice. The quickest way to get to Lethos is through the capital. But on the way, I was attacked by bandits and ran off full speed. And now the ring's gone. I must have dropped it somewhere. Woe is me. Sniffle, sniffle. But now that you're here, you're gonna help me find it, right? Right? After hearing her story, this definitely sounds like an emblem ring. Probably the ring of the Dawn Maiden. But that means someone took it from the shrine. Or it could be another emblem ring. We'll just have to find it and see for ourselves. All right, Yunaka. We'll help you. Golly, that's great news. She'll be so happy if you're the one who finds her. Let's start by retracing your steps. No sign of the ring so far. Maybe somebody got to it before we did. Yeah, everyone's combing the area. If it was lying around, we would have found it by now. You're sure you didn't lose it before the bandits attacked? I had it on me when I passed through that ghost town over there. Huh? What is it? It looks like the town's overrun with bandits. What? How can you tell? I'll bet these are the same chumps who ambushed me earlier. Let's take a closer look. They've taken over the town. These are the bandits I ran into earlier. No doubt about it. And that means one of them's got... Aha! Right there. You see it? Yeah, a burly guy with something glinting in his hand. That's gotta be our missing ring. What do you think, Divine One? Is it an emblem ring? 
Hmm. He's too far. I really can't say. You must have great eyesight, Yunaka. Yeah, I have a killer's eyes. What was that? Killer eyes! I've got killer eyes! You know, they're great at seeing stuff. If you ever need something looked at real good, I'm your gal! <laughs> anyway, what's the plan now? We've got two problems that need solving. A stolen ring and a town full of bandits. The ring's our first priority, but we can't leave them unchecked. We'll only attract attention if we all charge in at once. I say we split up. You know, send in a small group to recover the ring. Nice and stealthy. All right. Okay then. Come on, Divine One. You're with me. Okie dokes. If we go through here, I bet we can sneak up on that guy with the ring. Slipping through a side passage? Smart thinking, Yunaka. It's pitch black out here. How can we fight them if we can't even see them? Don't worry, Divine One. That's what I'm here for. My eyesight's so sharp, I can spot that easy even when it's dark or foggy. Till you get your hands on a torch, at least. Then you'll see as well as I can. There he is! Let's take him by surprise. Good idea. Please, take me to the Divine Dragon. <laughs> this looks pretty pricey. This'll net me a nice lump of gold. The boss doesn't need to know about it. <laughs> oh dear. You can't even hear me, can you? I hear her! That's the voice from before! That's definitely an emblem ring. Yunaka, will you help me get it back? Of course, you weirdo! That's why we're here! Right. Well, thank you. You know, now that I hear her, your impression was incredibly accurate. <laughs> Stop. You're going to make me blush. I'll do my best. Yanaka here. <laughs> so where did you come from? <laughs> Drop your guard. But my treasure. We got the ring. Heal us, emblem of dawn. shifting. Now victory lies ahead. Ah, so it is the Ring of the Dawn Maiden. Yunaka, I entrust this ring to you. Me? Uh, but I... She belongs with you. All I ask is that in return, you help us defeat these bandits. Will you join with Emblem Makaya? Yeah, okay. I won't let you down.
Gotcha. We fight for peace. The divine dragon looked right at me. Power blooms in me. As your steward. What a lovely scene. Let us be off. I'll do my best. No! Looks like we got us some uninvited guests. Snuff the lights, you lot. You got it. <laughs> Here goes. No! Nice. <laughs> Looks like our cover's blown. They're snuffing the torches. Don't sweat it. We can relight them as we go. Yunaka, let me show you how to use staves. With my magic, you may illuminate even the darkest of places. Hold 
steady. For fear and hate. You were a good fight. It's a good session. afraid.
want to help you. deserves. I'm happy to help. My muscles are yours. If this love is a crime... Do what I must. I can still fight.
trying to stop you. Saving the day, we killed off the villagers ages ago. <laughs> Fate has brought us here. This is it! I live to fight again. That's the last of the bandits. You've been a huge help, Yunaka. If not for you, we'd be scratching our heads in an empty shrine right about now. I can't thank you enough. It was nothing, really. I wonder who took it from the shrine in the first place. It must have been those bandits, right? Uh, well... What's the matter? I have a... uh, confession. The thing is... I didn't find the ring. I stole it. Huh? I was strapped for money, and when I saw the shrine, I figured it might have valuables. I went inside, heard Micaiah's voice, and... Pow! There's the ring, staring right at me. I was just looking to make a quick bundle of dough. I I'm sorry. I see. When I learned that you two were royalty, I panicked and... Kinda... well... lied. Really, I'm no different from those bandits. I'll accept whatever punishment you give me. Hold on. You were planning to sell the ring? Yeah. Well then, why didn't you? You could have run for the hills as soon as the Divine Dragon handed it to you. We're useless in the dark. Would have been easy to give us the slip. But instead, you stuck around and risked your neck for us. Why? Well, because of Micaiah. When she started talking to me, 
I got this feeling that I just couldn't shake. I felt like... like I had to help her get to the Divine Dragon. Yunaka has shown me nothing but kindness. Fighting by her side, I saw a bright path ahead. When I sensed Sombron's return, I called out in the dark. It was she who answered. I am to blame for entangling her in all this. Yunaka has done nothing wrong. I hear you, but she did lie to us. As Prince, I'm not supposed to let that go without some sort of punishment. Lay it on me. I can handle it. How about joining our forces? Say, what now? We're on a journey to collect the emblem rings and defeat the Fell Dragon. I know it's a lot to ask, but will you pledge yourself to our cause? What do you think, Alfred? A fitting punishment? <laughs> I love it! Our army is pretty lean, so adding a new recruit makes a lot of sense. And Yunaka clearly has raw talent. She could be a real asset. I won't let you down. Thank you. Both of you. Don't mention it. And Yunaka, allow me to be the first to say, Haya Papaya. Uh... <laughs> Haya Papaya, back at ya, Divine One. With that settled, let's hurry onward. We've got to cross into Brodia, right? Yes. Mother sent a letter to the Brodian King when we left the castle. He should be expecting us. Good. The Kingdom of Might. I'm curious to see what it's like there. Huh? Is that... Hey! Hmm? You're the girl I met in Flora Mill Town. Vale, wasn't it? Oh! What a coincidence finding you here! I'm glad to see you again. 
You left so abruptly last time. It really caught me off guard. Do you live around here? No, I'm just passing through. Well, looking for someone, really. Who are you looking for? A person I must talk to again no matter what. My sibling. You were separated then. I'm sorry. It's painful to be apart from one's family. Do you have any idea where to look? None. I don't even know what face to look for. We've been apart since I was very young. But they did give me something long ago. This. What a pretty stone. It's my good luck charm. I know that as long as I have this, we'll be reunited someday. I'm sure you will. But don't forget to take care of yourself. Look, your leg's wounded. This kind of thing happens all the time. It looks pretty deep. There, that ought to hold for a while. Thank you. You're quite kind to help a complete stranger like me. You're not a stranger. You saved my life, remember? That makes us friends, as far as I'm concerned. And friends help each other. Friends? <laughs> Should I not have said that? No, no. I'm just so happy to have someone I can call a friend. It's like a dream. I can't recall the last time I was treated with such kindness. What do you mean by that? I'm sorry, but I have to go. Are you sure? Thank you for the bandage. Hope to see you again. There she goes. See you around, Vale. I really enjoyed our tea party today. Thanks for inviting me, Celine. The pleasure is all mine, Divine One. Our conversation made for an excellent spice over an already fine tea. The tea was fine, wasn't it? That floral note it had was almost unbelievably good. I'm glad you appreciated it. The leaves were grown in Firene, you know. The delicate, subtle taste embodies the spirit of our kingdom. It is my utmost favorite. Yeah. I've heard the Firenes prefer the pastoral life over any kind of open conflict that really came through in this tea. There's a Firenes folktale I think you might find interesting. Our royal palace is home to a spirit who ensures happiness for the virtuous. For thieves or interlopers, however, the spirit drives them off with mischievous tricks. <laughs> Imagine, driven off by the prankish antics of a spirit. No serious consequences at all. How effective a deterrent do you suppose such a spirit really is? Even so, it's a lovely story. It's the kind of good-hearted tale that reflects the Firenes character, I think. Yes. Yes, it is. Well then, we must have tea together again sometime, Divine One. Oh! Welcome. Do come again.
Welcome. Be well. Hmm. Hmm. I'll be here. Welcome. One moment while I prepare your order. Now to business. This should be simple enough. I've prepared a first-rate meal. May I ask? Totally! I prepared a bit extra for you to take with you. Impressive work out there today, Yunaka. Whoa, what? I got praise from the Divine One? Zappy! I'm thrilled, beyond thrilled. I'm serious. Skills like yours are in high demand. You must have been a mercenary or something. Right, um, mercenary, yeah. You could tell? I mean, obviously I've murked a time or two, no big deal. I thought so. With strength like yours, you must be pretty well-known, too. Uh, sure, I mean, yep, people, uh, people know me. I'll bet some of our allies are well acquainted with your reputation already. I'll have to ask around. There must be stories. Uh, no, I mean, uh, could I ask you to maybe not do that? What? Why? <sighs> because I lied. Again, I've never been a mercenary. You said it, and it sounded nice, so I went with it. I'm sorry. I'm confused. You asked me about my past. I panicked. And just like always, I hid behind a lie. I'm truly sorry, Divine One. I should not have deceived you. You were only trying to praise me, and I just had to go and ruin it. I'll take my leave. Yunaka...
You look tough. I'd better be careful. Fram, 33rd Steward of the Divine Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. I'll win the next one. Hey! I actually won! It's that mysterious wanderer, Yunaka! I am Micaiah of Dayan. I will not hold back. I need more training, I suppose. Hey! I actually won! Now that I've turned over a new leaf, I intend to devote myself entirely to you, Micaiah. No need for any of that, Yunaka. I'm glad you were the one to find me. Leave it to me. Here you go. Here you go. Take care.
If I may. Whew. I've hit my limit for training today. Excellent work, Divine One. I brought a hot towel for your face. I think you will find it most refreshing. Thank you, Vander. That's very kind of you. I have also prepared a fresh change of clothes for you. When you change, deposit your dirty clothes into the basket, and I will wash them for you. I appreciate your generosity, Vander, but I'd prefer to take care of my own laundry. Certainly you have other tasks to keep you busy. My only obligation is to you, Divine One. Feel no hesitation in asking me for anything. But... It has been my duty to wait on you since long before you awakened. Were you to assume my duties for yourself, my position would cease to exist. So please, leave these trivialities to me where they belong, and trouble yourself no further. Again, I appreciate your willingness to help me, but I do feel a bit bad about all this. There is nothing in all of Elios to feel bad about, Divine One. Now I must insist you change out of your damp clothes before you catch yourself a cold. All right. There you are, ready for a... Morning, Divine One. Good morning, Alfred. That's quite the smile. Having a good day, are you? You can say that again. I got up before sunrise and did tons of training, even got an early run in. And the cherry on top, I get to see your bright and shining face. What a day to be alive. <laughs> There's no need to tease me. Who's teasing? Wouldn't you be just as happy to wake up to the sight of a friend? Well, yes. I do feel happy when I see my friends. See? <laughs> me too! But, uh, look, isn't there anything I can do for you? You've been awake a while, but it must be hard. There's bound to be a lot you're still adjusting to. Tell your friend Alfred all about it. Let me think. Hmm. No, there's nothing bothering me at the moment. Good, great. But if there is something, well, I want to be the first to know. Before you left Lethos, you asked me as a friend to teach you things, to help you adjust. And knowing you wanted to be friends just tickled me. Our friendship makes me happy too, Alfred.
<sighs> you still haven't found her? Sorry, boss. The thief was too quick for us. We lost track of where she went. We're supposed to be the thieves, you bums. We steal. We don't get stolen from. Well, she can't have left this fortress yet. Go catch her. No excuses. Yes, boss. Boss! Bad news. Am I about to hear an excuse? There's a tough-looking bunch headed right for us. They're armed, too. Typical. How much worse can today get? Whatever. This won't stop us, either. Battle squads in position and ready to move. I want our thieves in the treasury now. Once the treasure is secured, get to a safe place. Got it, boss. <laughs> a whole room full of treasure! I'm sure no one will mind if I help myself. Hey, is someone talking? Sounds panicked, whoever they are. Move your butts and get in position! Is there about to be a fight? Well, I'd better find some place to hide. I guess this is my best option. believe the luck we're having today? Less talking, more stalking. Make sure your gear is ready before things kick off. Uh-oh. This is way too many bandits to make a clean getaway. Hmm. The townsfolk told us about a bandit base, and I'd say we found it. I feel sorry for all those poor villagers who had their valuables stolen. Precious keepsakes, family heirlooms. Let's see if we can put them back in the right hands. Though it looks like we're in for a fight before that can happen. I'm listening. It's just like my fairy tales. We fight for peace. As your steward. Whatever you need. Huh. <laughs> 
you right. afford to lose. This love is a crime.
Sleep now. I live to fight again. I cannot afford to lose. Allow your soul the rest it deserves. What good fortune! I want to help you. The strength of the stewards! Hmm? Did that treasure chest just... move? So that's where the thief went. Ah! I've been found out! It won't open! Hey, thief! Let go of the lid! Don't make me work up a sweat! to do now if I want to get out of this. Time to show my skills. There was a child in there? We have to hurry and rescue her from these bandits. There's the thief. Get her! <laughs> if you think you're gonna catch me that easily, think again! <laughs> <laughs> They lived happily ever after.
What's the little girl doing here? This is a bandit fort. It's no place for children. But you're not a bandit, right? So why don't you keep me safe? Well, uh, I mean, I could, but... It's a deal! Thanks a million! You might not think so, but I'm pretty handy in a fight. Let me help you help me! This time, victory was mine. Here I go! Sorry. while you lasted. There's work to do. Give me an order.
Come and get it! I am guided by the emblems. I won't give up! What you got? Please grant me your strength. Playing us for fools. You'll never get your hands on that treasure.
to help you. turned out to be just some brat. What do you say, boys? I bet we could get a pretty penny and ransom out of her parents. My parents have no idea where I am. So that's a pretty weak threat, if you ask me. Yeah, well, I didn't ask you. Figure that out later. <laughs> I guess today could get worse after all. Here's hoping the local authorities will keep these bandits from causing any more trouble. You guys are really strong, huh? Do you have room on your team for me? You want to join us? I should warn you, our battles will be much more grueling than that. You'd be placing yourself in danger. I know I'm small, but I pack a punch. I can take care of myself, guaranteed. Besides, I've got nothing better to do. Not until I figure out where my family went. You lost your family. It gets lonely on the road. Maybe if I travel with you folks, our paths will cross someday. Well, if that's what you want, I have no objections. I'm the Divine Dragon. Looking forward to working with you. Hang on, what? You're the Divine Dragon? My sails! They're gonna go through the and the name's Anna, but you can call me Lady Anna. Pleasure to be in business with you. 